السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ولا in the name of Allah may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his final messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم his companions and all those who follow him until the day of judgment. مقاصد الصوم قال الله عز وجل يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, O you who believe, O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed for you, like it was prescribed to those who came before you, so that perhaps you can attain taqwa. لعلكم تتقون, so that you can perhaps attain taqwa, and taqwa serves as a protection. As a protection in this world, as a protection in this world from your carnal temptations and disobedience to Allah, and as a protection in the hereafter from the punishment of the hellfire. So when Allah says, تتقون, so that perhaps you can be ultimately protected from the fire. So this ayah is you, you utilized as a proof for the obligation of fasting. There is a famous hadith by Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu that says, Bunya al-Islam wa la khams shahadati an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad rasulullah wa iqam as-salah wa ita al-zakah wa sawm ramadan wa hajj al-bayt al-man istata alayhi sabil. So in this hadith, the Prophet said that Islam is built on five to testify that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Muhammad is, and the Muhammad is the final messenger to establish prayer, to pay zakah, to fast, to, to visit the house and to fast in the month of Ramadan. So in this obligation, brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling on those who believe. So for the believers, a characteristic of, of, of belief is that it's for us to fast. And the fast is to our benefit. The fast is to our benefit. And there are multiple virtues of fasting. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does prescribe something only for the for the for our well being, for the for our for the goodness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in, in the next ayah, in the, in ayah one eighty five of Surah Al Baqarah, you read Allah Yusra wala al Usr. Allah wants to make things easy for you. So Allah wants to make things easy for you in this life so that you can succeed, so that you can be shielded, so you can be protected, so that you can worship Allah, right? And go through the hardships keeping the, the end in mind. That whatever obstacles we face Whatever obstacle we face, there's an end. And the ultimate end is وَعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ The ultimate success is for those who have taqwa, right? The best dress, right? وَلِبَاسُ التَّقْوَى ذَلِكَ خَيْرٍ Is the dress of taqwa, right? وَكَلِمَةُ التَّقْوَى لَا إِلَهِ اللَّهِ The highest word of taqwa is saying لَا إِلَهِ اللَّهِ مُحَمَّدَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ That's a highest demonstration that we believe in Allah subhanahu so this month of Ramadan is approaching and we are recommended, we are, obligate, uh, we are we're obligated to fast. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, my recommendation, inshallah ta'ala, is to learn about fasting, right? What are the requirements of fasting? What invalidates your fast? H how was the fast of Rasulullah sallallahu And therefore, as you learn, Learning is worship, right? As you learn is worship and you make your fast better. Don't be satisfied with your fast of last year, with, with how much you achieved last year. Last year is gone. Last year is recorded. Now what is going to be recorded this year? So therefore, always keep that mindset of raising the bar. Raising the bar and ultimately not just being distracted by doing a lot, but being focused on increasing your Two things, your taqarrub Allah, your nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? And you're seeking ihtisaban, you're seeking with hope and confidence that if you do things the way it's pleasing to Allah, that Allah will accept. So you're seeking the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In most of his books, two things that he used to do whenever he will, he will write a book. Number one is that prior to writing a book, he will always consult Allah. He will always make istikhara. He will make two rakats, make istikhara, and ask Allah, if, is this the right decision? And number two, so after, after making istikhara, number two, he will, say, he, will, he will say at the end of his introduction, وَمَا تَوْفِيقِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ 
وَمَا تَوْفِيقِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمِ So there is no success except with Allah. So may Allah give us all tawfiq. Barakallah. Fikun. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.